Next uh, resource type, uh, services. So service, I personally hate that name because it can be so confusing. Um, services are stable endpoints to something. I would like to say services are stable endpoints to services, but that would be like confusing. Um, so why is it a stable endpoint? Because here, for instance, I have a service called Kubernetes, uh, and it comes with a cluster IP. And this means if you want to connect to that Kubernetes service, all you have to do is connect to that IP address. This Kubernetes service, uh, that's the Kubernetes API itself. So that means when I'm on the cluster, anywhere on the cluster, in a pod, in a node, I can connect to that IP address, and this will route me, it will connect me to the Kube API. Uh, when I look at a service like that, I don't exactly know what's behind it. Like, is there a pod? Is there multiple pods? Is it an external service? Um, sorry, I said service, this is confusing. Is it an external thing, endpoint? Um, I don't have to worry about that. All I know is if I connect to that IP address, I'm going to talk to the Kubernetes API. Demonstration. Um, I'm going to try to curl that. Uh, so if I curl, uh, here you can see port 443 TCP. So that's a hint. It tells us, okay, that's HTTPS. So I have to do curl HTTPS colon slash slash 1096.01. If I do that, curl is going to complain and telling me that the, the, the TLS certificate is not valid. So I'm going to say, okay, fine, fine. Ignore the certificate. The response I get is a Kubernetes API response. So just like every Kube API response, it has an API version, a kind, and some metadata. Uh, API version v1, kind is status. Uh, metadata is empty. It still exists, but it's empty. And since it's a status, then it has these additional fields. And these fields tell me failure, forbidden, uh, system anonymous cannot get path slash. So this is telling me you did not authenticate with the API, therefore go away, I won't talk to you. Um, so, uh, <coughs> so, so this means from any point on my cluster, I can connect uh, to that IP address. This will take me to the API server, but I will still need to authenticate to, to be able to make a useful uh, request. So services, uh, singular is service, the shorthand is SVC. Uh, and again, uh, it's a stable endpoint in the, in the sense that when we will connect uh, containers together, uh, we will get one of these services. So it will give us an IP address to, to which, through which we will be able to connect to our pods. Um, in uh, the initial design documents and in the first versions of Kubernetes, Services were called portals, which I think is a little bit more, um, it's a slightly better name because a portal is like the thing that takes me to the, to the backend, um, and abstracts whether it's a single container or multiple containers and therefore there is load balancing or an external resource.